not to security matters, Interior Cabinet Secretary Kithuri Kindiki says that the government has set aside 20 billion shillings for security operations to deal with the Al-Shabaab threat in the North Rift Eastern region. Speaking in Garissa town today, Kindiki, who was accompanied by Deputy Inspector General Police Noor Gabo, said that for a long time, the North Eastern region has been faced with various security challenges and it was time to bring them to an end. Brian Amoyna reports. On his tour to the northern part of the country, the interior CS noted that the government has put up measures to deal with insecurity in the region that is mostly due to porous borders. Mashariki, sehemu hii ya kaskazini na mashariki, imekua kwa wakati mwingi, iko na changamoto speciali. Safari hii, tunataka ile usalama, iko kiambu, iwe ndiyo usalama iko Mombasa, Ndiyo usalama iko Garissa, ndiyo usalama iko Bungoma, ndiyo usalama iko Wajia, ili inchi yetu kila pahali kuwe na standard moja ya kiusalama. Jambo la... The CS stressed on his commitment to ensure that the terrorism threats in the north is no longer a subject of debate. Na mimi niko hapa kusema hivi kwa niaba ya serikali ya Kenya. Kwa sababu hawa magaidi wamesukumu wa kule Somalia, wanajaribu kuingia katika nchi yetu wakidhani ya kwamba watapata nafasi nataka nitangaze ya kwamba hii adui wetu ambaye anatupiga kila wakati serikali ya Kenya itatumia njia zozote zile kuhakikisha tumeangaisha na tumemaliza hii tisho la kikundi haramu the CS said the government has invested in state-of-the-art equipment to protect the lives of the northerners and the country at large. Serikali imetoa shilingi billion ishirini ya kuboresha vifa vya afisa wetu wa usalama ili kuhakikisha ya kwamba maofisa wetu wako na magari ya lio lindwa wako na mandege na wako na vifaa vya kujilinda katika mwili wakati wanaenda katika shughuli hii i therefore want to say that the days for terrorists harassing us killing our security officers government officers that time and that period is over the security minister also took the opportunity to address the inter-border clashes that have happened in the past along the Garissa Isiolo border, noting that he has convened leaders meeting next week to address the matter and bring a permanent solution. I know we have a challenge between our border as Garissa and Isiolo County. When I meet with your leaders on Monday and when I, I come back in two weeks time, we shall be able to provide a framework for engagement between Garissa and Isiolo to have a permanent solution to that problem. Kindiki also announced the opening of the immigration offices in Garissa. Mwisho. Tulikuwa na ofisi hapa ya uhamiaji ambayo ilifungwa. Nataka nitangaze ya kwamba tutafungua ofisi mpya ya kupeana passports za Kenya hapa Garissa kuanzia tarehe moja mwezi ujao. Kindiki's visit to Garissa comes at a time when the government is working on opening the Kenya-Somalia borders to ease trade between the two countries and tackle the smuggling of contraband goods into the country. Brian Amoailo, Cap TV.